Taylor, obviously, what did you make of the way Ja played in his return? And then to get Ja, Dez, and Jaron all the 20 points each of the last two games and two wins, I mean, what does it say, I guess, about the core that you still have in place here that can move you forward? Yeah, I mean, I thought uh, Ja was uh, great tonight. Um, you know, obviously, the reception that he got from the crowd was phenomenal. Um, got to shout out the fans. That, that was amazing. I thought he fed off their energy and, and vice versa. Um, just in attack mode, you know, eight assists, I think, last game, eight assists tonight. Obviously, getting into the paint, you know, they're going to throw a lot of attention on. They started, you know, double teaming him even before we got into actions. I thought he made some, you know, pretty good decisions there. We'll, we'll work on cleaning that up. We haven't seen that in a while. Um, but, you know, again, as we've been talking about credit to Dez and JJ, just the work they've been putting in the first, you know, quarter of the season. Um, this is all just to continue to have more roster, you know, offensive balance and firepower and, you know, did some different things with the lineup combinations tonight just to give us different looks, you know, throughout 48 minutes. And, um, you know, I thought those guys, you know, played aggressive. I think Dez really got going there in that third quarter in the second half, especially. And, and JJ had a, you know, good first half and then they just started selling out on him a lot. And then when we got him into some open space, you know, he was able to, you know, navigate a little little bit better there uh, but when you got three of those guys I think someone marked down here were, you know got a pretty good record when those guys scored 20 plus points um, but it's just the facilitating and the optionality I mean Des had seven assists tonight as well so when you got more playmaking uh, from the guard position and even with JJ's uh, playmaking ability it, it's something we got to lean on a lot and uh, just the connectivity and 27 assists I thought our bench was huge for us tonight I mean defensively Jitty with big time blocks Santi knocked in big time shots um, Zaire even with knocking down shots and defensive activity um, you know when we just get the that ball moving, you know, for 48 minutes. Uh, that's Grizzlies basketball. Uh, Tyler, you touched on it a little bit with the lineup combinations. I saw uh, from the first first game, Jaws back, you played Desmond Bain primarily with the bench. And it looked like you switched it, uh, Ja, and you kept Bain and Jaron together uh, in, in longer stretches. What went behind that decision? Just what did you think of the results from that? Time? Yeah, it was good. I thought it was good in the first uh, first quarter. I uh, can't remember. Not, not so great. I mean, we, we struggled in the second quarter, turned the ball over, and again, similar to the New Orleans game, just had some open looks that we couldn't capitalize on. And um, just wanted to, you know, feel something out differently. Um, obviously, just, you know, continue to figure out Jaws' cadence over these, you know, first couple of games with, you know, three different stints as he's getting his game legs back. And then, you know, just wanted to, you know, continue to find some more. Off we knew tonight you had to score against the Pacers. So uh, trying to keep maybe Dez and JJ out there together. They can maybe complement each other. Obviously, throughout the majority of the season, they've been playing separate from each other uh, once we start subbing. Um, so just kind of wanted to try that. I thought it worked out well in the first uh, quarter, not so much maybe the second quarter, but the third quarter um, got us going a little bit. Um, so that was just something I wanted to contest out, knowing that we had to score uh, <laughs> at, a, at a pretty high clip against the Pacers. Be a little simplistic, but does this feel like a new season both on the court and emotionally these last two games like just the start of almost a new season i mean i think it's just it's uh you know new iteration of the season it's definitely not a new season i mean we've 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 put in a lot of work and we've got you know a hole to kind of climb out of um for sure um but you know just proud of the work you know dating back to you know voluntary workouts in the summer and the start of the season you know it's uh, we, we knew we were going to have our challenges and then more piled on and stuff uh, but just you know credit to the guy obviously john fuses so much into you know not not just his teammates and us, um, the organization, but the city. Uh, but, you know, these guys compete every single day. And then as we continue to get whole, you know, you see what you're fully capable of. And it was great. I mean, we were down 24 the other night. We were up 23 tonight. And we still found ways to win the game because that's a sign of fighting. And, you know, obviously just guys, you know, playing well together. So uh, it's definitely not a new season, but just, you know, uh, just a new, new iteration for sure. Um, Taylor, so uh, Vince took on a lot of the responsibilities to Finney Halliburton. And just his pressure, not even just picking up full full court, but also to maintaining that pressure once you cross once he crossed half court, you know, on, on that deny. How do you feel like he executed uh, the game plan, especially when trying to cover a guy that can attack in a variety of ways and from pretty much all over the floor? Yeah, I mean, uh, um, Tyrese is having an unbelievable season. I mean, this team's having an unbelievable season right now. Um, obviously, you know, credit to our guys. Once they still scored 20 points in transition, but, you know, when we got them into the half court, I thought our game plan execution was good. And I thought Vince did a great job. We started, you know, putting a little bit more focus on Halliburton, trying to keep the ball of his hands at times, full court in the half court, but they do such a good job moving without the ball, setting, you know, different pick and rolls with smalls and bigs. So sometimes he was off them, on them. Uh, but 
when it was his opportunity to be physical on him, I thought he did a really good job, and he's just continuing to show more and more and more um, just how he's got to, you know, be locked in and, and the physical presence and the discipline against these elite guards, um, you know, in the league. So I thought he did a heck of a job. You know, second half we started just trying to apply more pressure in the full court on uh, Halliburton. I thought he did a really good job, and even when he switched off, our other guys did a pretty decent job. Um, but, you know, this is a tough team with how they just continue to play with multiple actions. I think our uh, next play mentality, you know, even in the half court, first action wasn't there, drive kick, rotations. Um, I thought that really helped us a lot just on the backside of our defense too. Coach, in general, you know, in the month of December, the defense has really stepped up. But beyond Vince on Halliburton, the rest of the team really made it uncomfortable for the Pacers. Just so many times when they looked to go for the three, they had to, you know, fake it and go for the two. And it didn't seem like they just really got into a rhythm like they have all season long. Where are you in terms of the, you know, closing out contesting of the threes, the consistency of that for the team? It really seems to be start making a difference. Yeah, the last, you know, three, four weeks, we've just been talking about where at the best when we're active. I mean, it's easy to say that, but the work we've been putting in and practice with our rotations, the on-ball physicality we've been talking about, it's, you know, been a month going and hasn't been perfect and hasn't been fully consistent for 48 minutes, but tonight I thought it was a pretty example because you needed that and credit to the Pacers, they beat you in transition, the way they move the ball, you know, when they got their open looks, you know, they, they knocked them down, they missed a couple for sure, but I thought our rotations when we were getting them to go baseline, we were rotating to the corners, they did a good job swing, swinging, but then we were guys running out to the wing, we just had that activity. We knew it was going to be a track meet, um, you know, not just in the full court, but in the half court and that was the big takeaway from the morning shoot around. Luckily, our guys were pretty locked in on it. And um, overall, you know, uh, I'll be you know curious to watch the film and see the analytics. But I thought the activity, especially in the half court, was a deciding factor for us. Zaire's had a season of some ups and downs, uh, but he obviously was was great tonight. Is there something about playing with Ja? Is it the speed in which they can play with that really gives him more confidence and helps him? play better? Yeah, I mean, I think it's a variety of different things. Obviously, you know, not having jaw the first 25 games, it, it, it throws some different responsibilities on different guys, you know, shoulders and you know, we were having Z, you know, kind of be a, you know, primary point guard at times when we didn't, you know, necessarily have point guards out there. Um, but, you know, obviously, I think those two guys have great chemistry. You know, that's two years now, uh, three years, uh, you know, it's a couple of games now. But, you know, it's something we're going to lean on. Those guys have a great connection. I see it all the time, not even in the games. Um, they talk about it. You know, I have a pretty good feel for their dynamic. And obviously, you see how they connect in transition and Jaw coming off the pick and rolls. You know, Z has a pretty good feel where Jaw's going to find them. So, uh, just want to lean into that um, you know just uh, Z's gone through his ups and downs but he keeps fighting and keeps working um, love you know not just the offensive connection but kind of what he did tonight as well last couple of games just you know his urgency on the defensive side knowing that that's his priority you know when he steps on the floor um, really glad to see him you know two pretty good games coach we all know about the jaw effect on the offensive end but it seems like since the second half of the Pelicans game and the entire game tonight a Pacers team that averages over 127 points per game how proud are you of just the overall defensive effort the team showed tonight. Yeah, great effort. Um, you know, I point out like we made we had some big time winning plays at the end of the New Orleans game. Jaw was a part of that. Um, you know, we were double teaming. I thought our rotations were pretty good and just coming up with 50-50 balls. And tonight it was going to be a different version. It was going to be a track meet. It was transition. Obviously, you're not going to shut this team out in transition. Um, you know, but then in the half court, as I said, our activity was great and it was just five guys being on a string. There were definitely times we weren't communicating. It took us, you know, uh, a quarter to even a settle in, even despite being up 13 at the end of the first. Um, it took us, you know, a half or so to kind of just get a feel for the half court activity and communication. They slip so many screens, and they drive and kick, and they space really well, move without the ball really well. Uh, but when we kind of just dialed it up and got a feel for the game, you know, I think our execution was much better in that second half. And you get enough stops, and you can get out and run and, and, and play Grizzly style of basketball. You know, it'll turn the tide on the offensive side too. Great, thanks everyone. Uh, also, happy holidays to all you guys. You know, I don't think we'll see you till New Year's Eve. So, uh, happy holidays.